Hello again, I'm Terry Peterman, the Internet Electrician, and welcome to another one of my video shorts on current topics here at electrical-online.com and right here on YouTube. The purpose of this short video today is to give you a quick lesson on fuses, what they're for and the theory behind how they work. The second lesson is about getting what you pay for, a quality product from a reputable company versus an imported discount dollar store type of bargain. Now fuses are still in use today in home electrical systems, but they're only found in older homes that haven't had any significant updating to the electrical installation. If you have fuses, they will be of the cartridge type in the main service disconnects and plug fuses for the branch circuit wiring. But the purpose of a fuse is to interrupt or open the circuit in the event of excess current or in a short circuit condition. This protects the wires and the components from overheating and the potential risk of fire as a result. But in this video, I'm going to talk to you about 12 volt automotive type plug fuses. Now I was in need of a replacement fuse for my portable power pack and the closest and most convenient place that was open on a Sunday was a local general store. Now it had an assortment of what you would call dollar store items and I found an assorted package of 10 fuses, all for the low, low price of $1.25. Wow, what a score! So on the right side of the screen here, we have the dollar store set. And on the left is a set that I bought from Walmart later, but it's from a reputable fuse maker, Busman, an Eaton company. These cost closer to 20 bucks, but hey, they also included a fuse puller and a tester. When I got home and opened the package, I couldn't see any marking on the fuses to indicate sizing. There is a standard code for the colors, but another way to tell the difference between a 30 amp and a 5 amp fuse is the size of the fusible link or the element. To my surprise, there was no distinguishable difference between any of these fuses, even from the opposite ends of the spectrum. So let's take a closer look. So here are two fuses side by side. We have a 5 amp on the left and a 30 amp on the right. Now notice the size of the element. Looking at these fuses and all the sizes, it's the same. They're equal in size. I have no idea at what amperage these will burn out, but unless the fusible links are composed of different alloys, and not likely at 12.25 cents each. They'll all burn out at a relatively equal amperage, so probably somewhere around 10 or 15 amps. So now let's take a look at the proper fuses from Busman. Notice a significant difference here between the 5 amp on the left and the 30 amp on the right. So the lesson here is you get what you pay for, and it could be costly, because if you were needing a 5 amp fuse for rated protection of a circuit, and this 5 amp fuse took 15 before it blows, you could damage sensitive components. And likewise, if a circuit is rated for 30 amps, like maybe your headlights in your car, and you're rounding a corner on a dark rainy night and your headlight fuse burns out at 15 amp when you needed closer to 30, obvious problems for safety for you and others around you. So pay that extra money when it comes to electrical safety. So here's what to look for to ensure you're getting a good quality electrical product. They should have a UL, a CSA, or other accredited approval agency marking on them. These particular fuses from Busman have a backward UR and a number 44. And what that is, it's a recognized component mark, and it's a type of quality mark issued by the underwriters' laboratories. It's placed on components which are intended to be part of a UL listed product, but which cannot bear the full UL logo themselves. So the general public does not ordinarily come across it as it's born on components which make up finished products. But there you have it, the difference between quality and price. Thank you for watching. I hope that you learned something useful from this video. My goal is to help you out with your small home electrical projects or minor repairs and to help you complete them both safely and competently. So please feel free to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel here. And for more helpful information, visit my website at electrical-online.com. And if you'd like to learn more about home electrical, my program, The Basics of Household Wiring, is simply the best educational information you will find. And it's available as a DVD or an instant download. I also use this information as the core material for my best-selling course at udemy.com called the basics of household wiring, the electrical system A to Z. And of course, you can find me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. But what if you need help with something right away? 
I can help you with that as well. You simply download the Magnify app, that's Magnify with an I, from your smartphone and search for the Internet Electrician and you'll find me there and available for immediate assistance with any electrical issue you might be having. Using a live video connection, most problems can be solved quickly with this one-to-one -one consultation for a fraction of what a service call would cost. And the first two minutes are free. If I don't think we can solve a problem with a relatively quick and simple fix, we'll just terminate the call and you pay nothing. There's links below in the description here to everything that I've told you about. So, until next time, thanks for watching. I'm Terry Peterman, the Internet Electrician.